perhaps the most important part to start with is how do you tell an immature flower from a mature to an over mature flower? Because if I'm shopping December 1 to decorate my house for the holidays, yes, the, the poinsettia color part, the bracts on, there, on the plant will last for several months, but they're not the true flower. The true flower is in the middle and it's this central part of the flower. If you see these like ball-like structures, the cyathea, that's the true flower. This is an immature flower. So if I'm shopping, oh, 1st of December, 10th of December, somewhere in there, that's the stage at which I wanna purchase them. Now if it's later, closer to Christmas, the ideal stage is after those have opened and all the reproductive parts are apparent, as in this flower, you can see where they're much larger, the male structures are apparent, the pollen's out there. This is at the perfect stage if I were buying it the week before Christmas. And what happens is, as these mature, they'll shed and drop. And that leaves the center of the flower vacant. It's a big void there. So it's important we pick one at the right stage of maturity so that the center remains and is the full optimum impact on Christmas Day. But if we're shopping early, we want them tight like this. If we're shopping right close to the holiday, we want them more open like this. So that's the maturity question. Now, size of the flower is not an indicator of maturity, and these are really bracts. It's important to know this is not the flower. It's just a modified colorful leaf that's there to attract the insects to pollinate the true flower, which is the center part. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.